the arts represent an outlet of human expression, usually influenced by culture, and driven by human creative impulse. Major constituents of the arts include literature a euro including poetry, novels and short stories, and epics. Performing arts a euro among them music, dance, and theatre. Culinary arts such as baking, chocolatering, and winemaking. Media arts like photography and film, and visual arts a euro including drawing, painting, and sculpting. Some art forms combine a visual element with performance and the written word. From prehistoric cave paintings to modern day films, art serves as a vessel for storytelling and conveying mankind's relationship with its environment. Definition In its most basic abstract definition, Art is a documented expression of a sentient being through or on an accessible medium so that anyone can view, hear or experience it. The act itself of producing an expression can also be referred to as a certain art, or as art in general. If this solidified expression, or the act of producing it, is good or worth anything depends on those who access and rate it and this public rating is dependent on various subjective factors. Collins English Dictionary defines the arts as imaginative, creative, and non-scientific branches of knowledge considered collectively, ESPA studied academically. The singular term art is defined by the Irish Art Encyclopedia as follows, art is created when an artist creates a beautiful object, or produces a stimulating experience that is considered by his audience to have artistic merit. The same source states. Art is a global activity which encompasses a host of disciplines, as evidenced by the range of words and phrases which have been invented to describe its various forms. Examples of such phraseology include, fine arts, liberal arts, visual arts, decorative arts, applied arts, design, crafts, performing arts, and so on. History Ancient Greek art brought the veneration of the animal form and the development of equivalent skills to show musculature, poise, beauty and anatomically correct proportions. Ancient Roman art depicted gods as idealized humans, shown with characteristic distinguishing features. In Byzantine and Gothic art of the Middle Ages, the dominance of the church insisted on the expression of biblical and not material truths. Eastern art has generally worked in a style akin to Western medieval art, namely a concentration on surface patterning and local color. A characteristic of this style is that the local color is often defined by an outline. This is evident in, for example, the art of India, Tibet and Japan. Religious Islamic art forbids iconography, and expresses religious ideas through geometry instead. A physical and rational certainties depicted by the Enlightenment in the late 17th and 18th centuries were shattered not only by new discoveries of relativity by Einstein, 1, the development of the quantum mechanics a euro in the words of Richard Feynman, quantum mechanics deals with nature as she is, absurd a euro, and of unseen psychology by Freud, 2, but also by unprecedented technological development. Paradoxically the expressions of new technologies were greatly influenced by the ancient tribal arts of Africa and Oceania, through the works of Paul Gauguin and the post-impressionists, Pablo Picasso and the Cubists, as well as the Futurists and others. Disciplines In the Middle Ages, the art liberals were taught in universities as part of the Trivium a Euro an introductory curriculum involving grammar, rhetoric, and logic a Euro and of the quadrivium a euro a curriculum involving the a euro oe mathematical arts a euro of arithmetic, geometry, music, and astronomy. The art mechanicia were practiced and developed in guild environments. The modern distinction between artistic, and non-artistic skills did not develop until the Renaissance. In modern academia, the arts are usually grouped with or as a subset of the humanities. Some subjects in the humanities are history, linguistics, literature, and philosophy. Newspapers typically include a section on the arts. Traditionally, the arts are classified as seven although the list has been expanded to nine. These being architecture, sculpture, painting, music, poetry, dance, theater cinema, with the modern additions of photography and comics. Visual arts. Drawing. Drawing is a means of making an image, using any of a wide variety of tools and techniques. It generally involves making marks on a surface by applying pressure from a tool, 
or moving a tool across a surface. Common tools are graphite pencils, pen and ink, inked brushes, wax color pencils, crayons, charcoals, pastels, and markers. Digital tools which can simulate the effects of these are also used. The main techniques used in drawing are, line drawing, hatching, cross hatching, random hatching, scribbling, stippling, and blending. An artist who excels in drawing is referred to as a draftswoman or draftsman. Drawings are used to create comics and animation for example. Painting Painting taken literally is the practice of applying pigments suspended in a vehicle and a binding agent to a surface such as paper, canvas, wood panel or a wall. However, when used in an artistic sense it means the use of this activity in combination with drawing, composition and other aesthetic considerations in order to manifest the expressive and conceptual intention of the practitioner. Painting is also used to express spiritual motifs and ideas. Sites of this kind of painting range from artwork depicting mythological figures on pottery to the Sistine Chapel to the human body itself. Color is the essence of painting as sound is of music. Color is highly subjective, but has observable psychological effects, although these can differ from one culture to the next. Black is associated with mourning in the West, but elsewhere white may be. Some painters, theoreticians, writers and scientists, including Goethe, Kandinsky, Newton, have written their own color theory. Moreover, the use of language is only an abstraction for a color equivalent. The word red, for example, can cover a wide range of variations on the pure red of the spectrum. There is not a formalized register of different colors in the way that there is agreement on different notes in music, such as C or C. Although the Pantone system is widely used in the printing and design industry for this purpose, modern artists have extended the practice of painting considerably to include, for example, collage. This began with cubism and is not painting in strict sense. Some modern painters incorporate different materials such as sand, cement, straw or wood for their texture. Examples of this are the works of Jean Dubuffet or Anselm Kiefer. Modern and contemporary art has moved away from the historic value of craft in favor of concept. This has led some to say that painting, as a serious art form, is dead, although this has not deterred the majority of artists from continuing to practice it either as whole or part of their work. Photography Photography as an art form refers to photographs that are created in accordance with the creative vision of the photographer. Art photography stands in contrast to photojournalism which provides a visual account for news events, and commercial photography, the primary focus of which is to advertise products or services. Architecture Architecture is the art and science of designing buildings and structures. The word architecture comes from the Greek architecton, master builder, director of works, from I plus or minus I, I, I to the first chief plus I, I micron I, I, I per mil I one half builder, carpenter. A wider definition would include the design of the built environment, from the macro level of town planning, urban design, and landscape architecture to the micro level of creating furniture. Architectural design usually must address both feasibility and cost for the builder, as well as function and aesthetics for the user. In modern usage, architecture is the art and discipline of creating an actual, or inferring an implied or apparent plan of any complex object or system. The term can be used to connote the implied architecture of abstract things such as music or mathematics, the apparent architecture of natural things, such as geological formations or the structure of biological cells, or explicitly planned architectures of human-made things such as software, computers, enterprises, and databases, in addition to buildings. In every usage, an architecture may be seen as a subjective mapping from a human perspective to the elements or components of some kind of structure or system, which preserves the relationships among the elements or components. Planned architecture manipulates space, volume, texture, light, shadow, or abstract elements in order to achieve pleasing aesthetics. This distinguishes it from applied science or engineering which usually concentrate more on the functional and feasibility aspects of the design of constructions or structures. In the field of building architecture, the skills demanded of an architect range from the more complex, such as for a hospital or a stadium, 
to the apparently simpler, such as planning residential houses. Many architectural works may be seen also as cultural and political symbols, and or works of art. The role of the architect, though changing, has been central to the successful design and implementation of pleasingly built environments in which people live. Conceptual art Conceptual art is art in which the concept, s, or idea, s, involved in the work that takes precedence over traditional aesthetic and material concerns. The inception of the term in the 1960s, referred to a strict and focused practice of idea-based art that often defied traditional visual criteria associated with the visual arts and its presentation as text. Through its association with the young British artists and the Turner Prize during the 1990s, its popular usage, particularly in the UK, developed as a synonym for all contemporary art that does not practice the traditional skills of painting and sculpture. Literary Arts Literature is literally acquaintance with letters as in the first sense given in the Oxford English Dictionary. The noun literature comes from the Latin word litera meaning an individual written character. The term has generally come to identify a collection of writings, which in Western culture are mainly prose, drama and poetry. In much, if not all of the world, the artistic linguistic expression can be oral as well, and includes such genres as epic, legend, myth ballad, other forms of oral poetry, and as folk tale. Literary arts and creative writing are interchangeable terms. Comics, the combination of drawings or other visual arts with narrating literature, are often called the ninth art in francophone scholarship. Performing arts. Between the plastic arts and the performing arts there are some methodological differences. To create its artistic purpose, that generally is an experience, the performing artist mainly uses its own body, face, or presence. The artistic purpose of a plastic artist normally is an object, and she or he uses materials to create it. Performing arts include acrobatics, busking, comedy, dance, magic, music, opera, operetta, film, juggling, martial arts, marching arts such as brass bands and theater. Artists who participate in these arts in front of an audience are called performers, including actors, magicians, comedians, dancers, musicians, and singers. Performing arts are also supported by the services of other artists or essential workers, such as songwriting and stagecraft. Performers often adapt their appearance, with costumes and stage makeup, etc. There is also a specialized form of fine art in which the artists perform their work live to an audience. This is called performance art. Dance was often referred to as a plastic art during the modern dance era. Music Music is an art form whose medium is sound. Common elements of music are pitch, rhythm, dynamics, and the sonic qualities of timbre and texture. The creation, performance, significance and even the definition of music vary according to culture and social context. Music ranges from strictly organized compositions, through improvisational music to aleatoric forms. Music can be divided into genres and subgenres, although the dividing lines and relationships between music genres are often subtle, sometimes opening to individual interpretation, and occasionally controversial. Within the arts, Music may be classified as a performing art, a fine art, and auditory art. Theater Theater or theater is the branch of the performing arts concerned with acting out stories in front of an audience using combinations of speech, gesture, music, dance, sound and spectacular euro indeed any one or more elements of the other performing arts. In addition to the standard narrative dialogue style, theater takes such forms as opera, ballet, mime, Kabuki, classical Indian dance, Chinese opera and mama's plays. Dance Dance generally refers to human movement either used as a form of expression or presented in a social, spiritual or performance setting. Dance is also used to describe methods of non-verbal communication between humans or animals, motion in inanimate objects, and certain musical forms or genres. Choreography is the art of making dances, and the person who does this is called a choreographer. People dance to relieve stress. Definitions of what constitutes dance are dependent on social, cultural, aesthetic, 
artistic and moral constraints and range from functional movement to codified, virtuoso techniques such as ballet. In sports, gymnastics, figure skating and synchronized swimming are dance disciplines while martial arts cater are often compared to dances. Video games a debate exists in the fine arts and video game cultures over whether video games can be counted as an art form. Game designer Hideo Kojima professes that video games are a type of service, not an art form. Art theorist Dennis Dutton wrote, fans also overrate the contribution of video games to storytelling as an art form. Video games are complicated and visually arresting forms of make-believe that allow the viewers to jump into the stage and participate in the action. This is regarded by the video game enthusiast as an earth-shaking advance. In a way, it is less an extension of storytelling art than a regression to its precursors. While the themes and content of the video game may be complex and adult, the logic of viewer participation in the story reverts back to the child's tea party with teddy bears. In May 2011, the National Endowment of the Arts included video games in its redefinition of what is considered a work of art when applying of a grant. In 2012, the Smithsonian American Art Museum presented an exhibit, The Art of the Video Game. However, the reviews of the exhibit were mixed, including questioning whether video games belong in an art museum. Gastronomy Gastronomy is the study of the relationship between culture and food. It is often thought erroneously that the term gastronomy refers exclusively to the art of cooking, but this is only a small part of this discipline. It cannot always be said that a cook is also a gourmet. Gastronomy studies various cultural components with food as its central axis. Thus it is related to the fine arts and social sciences and even to the natural sciences in terms of human nutritious activity and digestive function. Arts criticism, architecture criticism, visual art criticism, dance criticism, film criticism, literary criticism, music journalism, television criticism, theatre criticism, see also. Culinary art, fine art, martial arts, performing arts, art in odd places, arts education, notes. References. Does time fly? A Euro Peter Gallison's Empires of Time, a historical survey of Einstein and Poincare, intrigues John Turney. John Turney. The Guardian, Saturday 6 September 2003, Contradictions of the Enlightenment, Darwin, Freud, Einstein, External Links, Cowan, Tyler. Arts. In David O. Henderson. Concise Encyclopedia of Economics. Indianapolis, Library of Economics and Liberty. ISBN A 978-086597665-8. OCLC A 237794267 AA Euro A look at how general economic principles govern the arts.